What's going on people of YouTube? It's your boy M. Lee on the films and I'm here with yet another film vlog. Now I know all my subscribers out there have been noticing the M. Lee film shirt looking real swag swaggericious, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you guys want to keep up with everything I be doing, because I've been, you know, I had this stuff, you know. But if you want to keep up with everything I'm doing, you know, like I've said before multiple times, follow my fan page. Go on to Facebook.com if you got a Facebook account. And so I just search your little uh, bar, type in, you know, M. Lee Films, you know, M. Lee Films, all one word. My logo should pop up. Click on that bad boy and then click like and then there you go. You'll follow me. You'll see all kind of stuff I'm doing. But anyways, on to the video, letting you guys know the top five videos I wish, top five of my videos that's already been filmed, edited, rendered, and uploaded, shared with the world. Top five videos I wish I had the Canon C100, which I own right now. I wish I had that camera when filming these in particular videos. And at number five is Dago Pride music video shoot. That video shoot took about, we shot that about five days, you know, separate days shooting different scenes. And just to have the C100, because I was using the Canon 6D, so if I would have had the C100, it would have sped up my, uh, my productivity and just, uh, you know, it would have made certain shots way easier, you know, having that top handle especially the karate uh, fighting scenes, you know, I had it, I was, hold, I was hand holding the camera doing different uh, movements and stuff like that to make it seem like more action oriented. But if I had to see 100 with the top handle, I could have got some good, uh, you know, some, it just would have made it much better. And I could have got some lower shots and nicer movement shots, you know, action based shots and stuff like that with the top handle. And also with utilizing the autofocus and stuff like that, that would have did a good job at certain shots as well. There's also some shots I utilized in my camera jib slash crane for inside that music video shoot, you know, to get high up in the air and down low to the ground and stuff like that. And the autofocus of the C100 would have did, would have made those shots way easier. Like I said inside my other video, when you're using a camera that don't have autofocus, you got to kind of pull focus inside the general area that you feel that's accurate to where your your uh talent is going to be at and they can't really move out of focus they can't really move around that much as far as forward and backwards because they're going to move out of focus but with the autofocus of the canon c100 mark ii but with the autofocus of the canon c100 mark ii you know um i could have just threw it right into autofocus and turned peaking on so to make sure that it's inside focus even though i got it in autofocus but with peaking it give you that it gives you that extra you know um assurance that you got something in focus that you want to have in focus um even on a D on a dslr you don't even have peaking so not only are you struggling with manual focus you don't have the option for autofocus you also don't have the assurance that you have your uh in particular subject in focus because you don't have peaking as well on, on dslrs and then for the last reason is for the simple fact of using the c100 to shoot that music video versus using the canon 6d the C100 would have blew the 6D out the water as far as, you know, the, the quality of it. Just the dynamic range, just eye certain shots, and just the clarity. Bad boy would have been looking clean, boy. But, you know, see, the 6D is a good job. You know, the 6D is a good camera to use, you know, to film videos with. You know, I didn't buy it for no reason. It's a full-frame camera, and the C100 is the crop sensor camera. I'm not going to explain that into detail for the rookies out there. But, you know, just know that. But still, even with this camera being a crop sensor, the optics of this bad boy is amazing. Like the sensor is amazing. Just the quality of the camera. Oh man, I just turn. I'm, I'm geeking out right now. Damn it, let me let me calm down. Calm my nerves. Another thing I almost forgot to mention is that the Canon C100 has that flip out screen. That would have been very beneficial to the Dago Pride music video shoot. Because there's a lot of situations to where, since I was using a 6D and a lot of DSLR cameras don't have a flip out screen. I had to bend down and pull focus, make sure it's inside focus, or I had the camera up high and I had to like look, or I had to attach my seven inch monitor just so I can angle the screen a certain type of way so I can see what I'm doing. And that got kind of got finicky and kind of irritating because I had to pull the, the screen out, get my other attachment so I can attach it to wherever I got the camera on and hook up the HDMI cable just so I can see, you know, because I can't really see the screen based on how the camera is positioned. So the next video is one of my film art videos is where it's the prime example of what I do when I do art with my, with my camera, you know, I'm a video artist. So you know how you have music artists that do art with their vocals and stuff like that. You have actual artists that do art with paint. I'm a video artist. So this is one of my prime examples of videos that I do art with. And that video is called Baby Zalea. This is my little cousin, you know, um, 
there was this little area that I wanted to film at. I always had an idea in my head that I want to do a slow motion type of video with like a baby or something like that with the leaves falling uh, from the trees and stuff. And just like something real artistic and stuff with the music in the background. And this video would have really, really benefited with the Canon C100 Mark II, like most definitely. In this video, I got a lot of crane shots. As you can see, you know, I got the camera going up through the trees. Um, at, with the 6D, I had to pre-focus, you know, determine where I want my focus point to be at because I can't focus back and forth on the foreground and background. So I had to focus on a nice general area that would have enough things in focus. But with the C100, like I said again, I autofocus, man. Pop that bad boy up on that crane, run it through them trees, let it do its job. Let it focus on the foreground and background, whatever comes in focus. You know, whatever comes, you know, closer to the camera to focus on that. And, you know, I could have looked at the monitor down below instead of me hoping that it's inside focus. I could have determined if it was in focus or not with the autofocus and with the peaking turned on. Job done. Much easier. It, take, it takes me much longer to film certain shots with my... Uh, with a camera that don't have, uh, that don't utilize autofocus when I got it on a camera crane because when it's on that crane, you have no way of pulling focus, like I said inside my last video. So even though as a professional, you're not supposed to rely on autofocus at all that much, but inside some circumstances, in some cases, it's good to have that. The top handle on the C100 Mark II, you know, I could have got some, since she's a baby, you know, I could have got some real good down low shots by me holding the top handle. That top handle really comes in handy, man. Um, so I could have utilized that inside the video. Um, now, even though that video did turn out pretty clean, you know, given the fact that, you know, you got YouTube compression that they put up on there when you upload to YouTube. Still, that's the most cleanest video I shot with the six, with the uh, Canon 6D. That video turned out real good, real nice, real clear. But overall, shooting this video with the Canon C100, it would have made the video look much better and it also would have shaved off about 45 minutes to an hour with the film time I did for this video. I think it took us about uh, what well, took me? I had uh, other. I had my brother there. Well, he helped me. He was dropping some leaves from down below or from up above inside a certain shot um, to make it seem like it was falling from the tree. So he helped out a little bit. But um, it took about two and a half hours to film, and most of it, like a lot of time-consuming parts, was just me trying to make sure it was inside focus. You know, at number three, one of my best film art videos I've ever filmed based on popular demand by viewers and just feedback and every time people watch that video they say it's amazing i'm actually doing a re-edit of that video using different music in the background um well i'm thinking about doing a re-edit i never did a re-edit before but i do still have all the raw footage and i have got a little bit better at my uh, editing so i think i'm thinking about running it back to the editor and do something kind of different but that's my video called a walk on the beach just on a side note, uh, she was my girl at the time, you know, six month relationship back uh, almost two years ago. Um, so, you know, just relationship, relationship didn't work out. That's all I'm gonna say, you know, not gonna go into details, you know, put nobody business out there. But, you know, anyways, walk on the beach. You know, a lot of people love that video. Um, I didn't think it was gonna get that much. Uh, I mean, it don't got like, it doesn't have like 10,000 views or anything like that. I think it only has about like 500 and something views, which is still kind of a lot because most of my videos like this, like my film art videos only get about 100 views or 75 views. So this one got like over, I think 400 to 500 views. And a lot of people like it, kept on telling me that they, that they really like that video. Um, I shot that video at 720p, 60 frames per second on a Canon 6D. Now on a Canon C100 Mark II, I could have shot it at 1080p at 60 frames per second. You know, um, the top handle would have came in handy a lot, especially when the parts where I walked with her inside the water and I was filming like, you know, like down low shots of her walking inside the water and stuff like that. And inside this uh, video, I used my camera crane. Once again, the camera crane autofocus or at least peaking turned on. I could have seen what was in focus, especially the part when she was walking. We, we shot that part about maybe 10 times of her walking past the camera as I was like uh, moving the camera crane as she was walking past you know we had to shot you had to shoot that so many times because I had to make sure just by my eye make sure it's in focus you know you have no other options in the camera to determine if you're in focus or not and also like I said about the other videos the C100 especially for this video with the dynamic range of the C100 would have made it look way better you know, the video would have turned out way better, 
But yeah, man, I really like that video too because I chose the perfect song that matches the mood of the video and like it kind of tells a story without really saying anything. You know, you can get a lot. You can like your 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 interpretation of the video may be different than somebody else's. You know, so that's the type of videos I like doing and that's the type of videos I like watching. At number two, my Comic Con videos. I kind of already talked about this. Well, I didn't kind of already did talk about this inside my other video vlog, talking about my film plans for Comic Con 2016, but utilizing the Canon 6, uh, not Canon 6D, that's what I used last time, but utilizing the C100 Mark II with my Comic Con videos I shot before, it would have been much crisp. It would have been, you know, 1080p, 60p. It would have been, you know, much easier to shoot certain scenes, you know, with the flip out LCD screen, the uh, electronic viewfinder with a nice eye cup that I can look inside, inside the bright sunlight. So the C100 would have been a real good camera to use for my uh, Comic Con videos. But I mean, you get better as you grow, you get better equipment as you, you know, progress in what you do as far as filming and stuff like that. You don't want to just hop straight to the best stuff. You know, you got to grow. Your, your equipment got to grow with you. You don't grow with your equipment, your equipment grow with you. And the thing that's sexy about these line of cameras is that it feels like you're filming with a DSLR. Everything's the same. You still got that button in the front, which would normally be your, uh, your photo button, but it's your record button. The handle feels like a DSLR. Um, the scroll wheel, the scroll wheel at the top changes your uh, f-stop like it would do on your DSLR or whatever. So it, I mean, you still got that, you still got that DSLR feel, but it's an actual professional video camera. So that's what's sexy about it. And at number one, another one of my film art videos, which is called 10 Years of Christmas. Um, I named it 10 Years of Christmas because my son was 10. You know, it's his 10th year of Christmas. And, you know, this was Christmas 2015. Now, with this video, it, it, you can see from the behind the scene. I'm pop up, pop up the behind the scene footage, too, on the green screen. Now, as you can see from the behind the scene footage, when I was getting those uh, low shots, you know, holding the camera, like, down low, I was holding the shoulder rig because the camera has no top handle. And I had my 7-inch monitor mounted onto that, too. So when I have the camera down low, I can see, I can have a screen up so I can see what I'm recording, make sure it's inside focus, and I had to pull focus at the same time with the other hand, which is okay if you want to do some creative uh, focusing. But if I just wanted to make sure it was inside focus, then the autofocus on the C100 would have utilized, would have been a good use of that in particular shot. And I also set the exposure and the color of the video to make it look kind of like uh, that film look. But with the C100, I could have set the uh, picture profile to film. There you go. So this video is at number one just because you can see just from the behind the scene footage that imagine if I had to see 100 shooting that shot where I had the camera holding it like that. I could add the top handle instead of using that big LCD screen, a seven inch monitor and mounting that onto there and using the HDMI to hook it up and doing all that extra work and make sure the screen is tilted correctly and tighten it down. Come on, man. I could have had the C100 top handle, had an LCD screen flipped out on that C100 and flipped up so I can see what I'm filming have autofocus turned on if I needed to be, and then the good quality of the C100 blows the 60 out the water. So it's like all those things inside that one shot would have made my workflow what much way much easier. That's what I mean by you know my workflow being easier with the C100. Just look at it. Like everything I was trying to do inside that 10 years of Christmas the video would have been much easier on the C100 Mark II. Way easier. And even though a DSLR is much lighter than a C100, still, I had my DSLR mounted onto the shoulder rig, so it was heavy, a little bit heavy. With the C100, I, didn't, I wouldn't have to have it mounted onto anything at all. No extra accessories, no extra HDMI cables, no extra screens, no extra nothing. No extra top handles or nothing I gotta buy. Everything is right there on the camera. Even when it comes down to the mic, you know, I was using this microphone, the Rode mic. This is the only microphone I've ever used ever since I first started filming and it's been lasting all these years. Um, but I was using this mic. I could have just had this put up and just used the own camera microphone. Not the, not the one that's built into the body, but the top handle microphone. You know, that, ca that microphone is good enough for what I was going to use it for. And, you know, it has all that stuff built into it. So with that said, man, it's been your boy M. Lee on the films. Follow my fan page on Facebook. Type into the search bar on Facebook, M. Lee Films, all one word. With that said, man, your boy M. Lee on the films, and I'm out, man. Peace.